Welcome. I'm on vacation, but I can't get away from you. So what I'm going to do is a two-for-one pod day. We're in Austin, Texas. We're going to watch WWE Monday Night Raw for my brother's birthday. But before that, I'm going to hurt myself. Cue Johnny Cash. Anyway, we've got a Butch T. Yellow Scorpion and something I've never had. I didn't even really know they were kind of out. Chocolate Jigsaw. Uh, Gator Jigsaw. So I don't know what this one tastes like. The Yellow Pod's going to be fun. So here we go. Also, I don't have a knife. I didn't bring the big chopper. So we're going to bite right into these. I do love chocolate pods. Yellows are hot. So enjoy. Dramatic close-up. Drama. All right. Gator Jigsaw first. I think these are 142,000 Scoville, we'll see. How you feeling? Oh. Well, that was about 30 seconds of chewing. That was bitter, mildly floral, earthy, not bad. All right, the heat's sinking in. It's really not that bad. Uh, <clears throat> kind of in the throat, kind of irritating. I've only been awake for about 30 minutes, so it's hitting the sun kind of hard. I did not prep, so this is gonna be a really fun day. Overall, it's a tongue burn, kind of in the top of the mouth. I'd say probably around a red Savina heat, if I had to guess. Yeah, it's a good tongue burn. I like it. As soon as this starts dying off, we'll go with the Butch Scorpion, which I know is just going to be awful. Did an Airbnb, got into Austin, one of my favorite places to be. Spent all last night playing video games. Where did you play video games at? Went to Cidercade. One of my favorite places. Mm. What was your favorite game you played? Ooh, I did get to play Par uh, Primal Rage, which is from uh, something I played a lot as a kid. That was a really fun game. Got my ass kicked in the second round. So the heat's dying back a little bit. Um, honestly, it's just really whenever I'm talking and really not that bad. So we're about to pop the uh, Scorpion or the Butch Tea. Oh, man, swallowing sucks. I can feel it in my stomach. We will have to stop by a store and grab something for my tummy. Wumbly tumbly. Oh, it's it's not rumbly. It's uh, more like vice grip. Yeah, no prepping is not great. What do you usually do to prep? Uh, I've gone over this a few times, but I usually drink uh, kefir, which is a... Um, I guess it's a cultured milk, so it's more akin to like a, like a more liquidy yogurt style, but uh, it's it's fermented, it's hot fermented basically, and uh, it's one of my favorite things to drink just in general and for this because it coats the stomach really good. So much lovelier than being in my living room out in nature. It has admittedly been a couple days. Because I was getting ready, uh, I was want to have a side business, and we had a job, and it just took longer than we thought thought it would. And then also, I was getting ready for the trip to come down here, so I neglected my uh, tolerance practice. So this is not the hottest pod, but for some reason, it is just giving me hell in my throat. You can hear me uh, getting glottal. Just an annoying sting. Like, my tongue's not burning anymore. It's an annoying throat sting, which is my least favorite type. Yeah, immediately after this, we may have to go uh, <laughs> ransack an HEB. Ooh. Man, it's nice out here, though. All right. All right. So what is this one called again? Butch T. Uh, yellow. Mm -hmm. So I believe these are scorpions.
They gotta spit on it before you ate it. <laughs> gotta lube that thing up. Oh, this is gonna hit my throat. I know it. I can't even move my cheeks. Is it a similar flavor profile? No, they're all different. Every single color is different. What do you feel about that stupid ass question? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just wish I knew more stuff about pepper. That's why I'm asking the pepper so, master. Usually, red and orange are pretty citrusy, usually. It depends on the pepper type, but by color. Um, white is usually a very muted flavor. Peach usually has a very good flavor. Um, I like golden and mustard because they have a really neat... Um, they have actually developed flavor. I don't know why. But uh, chocolates are usually really good. Sometimes they'll have a very dark sweetness, but they're very earthy. Yellows, a lot of times, are just hot. And a lot of times floral. I haven't had an evergreen yet. Oh. <clears throat> so I don't know why, but that just stung when I like tried to clear my throat. So having one pepper after another doesn't make it easier? No. Or is it harder? They burn differently. However, if one is not as hot as the other, it's not as bad. So that butch tea was not as hot as the chocolate jigsaw. So really, about the worst it did was kind of reawaken my tongue burn, and that's about it. This right now is a nice afterglow, so it's not really that bad. Really, it's my stomach that's kind of screwing with me. So what you're saying is, it's kefir time. Oh yeah, it has been. Like if y'all, so like if one of y'all tried the butch tea, it would demolish y'all for like probably a long time. Me, it's not really doing all that much. It's actually really nice. And like I said, I had it kind of in my cheeks a little bit, but that died off pretty quickly. Now it's just kind of stinging my tongue. I can talk as evidenced by this diatribe that I'm going on to try and distract myself. <sighs> this is honestly the nice afterglow. So between the two, which one's the better one? If you, if you, if you, Enjoyable, if you, the butch tea. Um, for doing super hot stuff, you'll want the jigsaw. Because if you're starting to explore that uh, area of like peppers and heat, that's what you're going for. The, the chocolate gator jigsaw is uh, up your alley. I guess the only thing left to ask is <clears throat> how big is your chili? Oh, big enough, it hurts. Whew. We're good.